and welcome to the episode 322 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll cover live performances, silver discs, and rough mixes of two Sentimental Journey songs. On the 11th of November 1960, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sickley from bass, were again on the stage of the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany, alternating with Rory Storm and the Hurricanes for another night of rock and roll fun. On this date in 1961, the Beatles, now with Paul McCartney on bass instead of Sutcliffe, performed an evening concert at a Cavern Club in Liverpool. Same venue in 1962 with the Beatles, now in their definitive lineup with Ringo Starr on drums, performing at their Welcome Home party. Along with them, on the bill, the Mercy Beats and Paul Hartigan's jazz band. Big time in 1963. The Beatles attended a ceremony at the EMI House in London, during which they were presented with two silver discs by Sir Joseph Lockwood, head of EMI Limited. The discs were meant to commemorate the extraordinary success of the Please Please Me and With The Beatles albums. In fact, With The Beatles had not been released yet, but one must suppose that the advance sales were going strong and that the explosion of Beatlemania left little or no doubt about where the Beatles were heading in the near future. These were not the only discs the Fabs received today. Producer George Martin gave them a smaller disc for the Twist and Shout EP success, and disc newspaper editor Gerald Marks gave them two, one for Twist and Shout and another for the She Loves You single. The celebration continued with a cocktail party and a formal lunch. In 1967, the usual work on the editing of Magical Mystery Tour went on at Norman's Film Productions. The last story of the episode revolves around the 1969 mixing session of Dream and Stardust, two songs from Ringo Starr's solo project, Sentimental Journey. These were just rough mixes for reference purposes on the work completed so far, and in fact, more work on Dream had already been planned. Anyhow, the task was completed by engineer Jeff Emerick between 4 and 4.30 pm at the EMI Studios. With the closing of the episode, let me remind you to visit www.simonmas.com support to see the many things you can do to support this podcast and the production of further music-related content. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.